Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into the new elite details of the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. We've got some exciting news about the confirmed features, specs, design changes, and even some early benchmark results. So if you're a fan of cutting edge tech, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Battery. Let's begin with the battery. Unfortunately, there's no upgrade here. The Galaxy S25 series, including the Ultra model, will stick with the same battery size as the previous generation. The S25 Ultra will house a 5,000 mAh battery, just like the S24 Ultra. This might be a disappointment for some, especially if you are hoping for longer battery life. Why no change in battery size? Well, the S25 Ultra will be a bit thinner than its predecessor. While the device itself is slightly taller and wider, Samsung has made it slimmer, and that leaves no extra room for a larger battery. However, even with the same size, we could still see improvements in battery efficiency thanks to software and hardware optimizations, especially with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 processor, which should manage power more efficiently. Camera upgrades now onto the cameras. According to leaks, the camera design will see some significant changes, specifically in how much the lenses protrude from the phone's back. Reliable leaker Ice Universe has revealed that the camera lenses on the S25 Ultra will stick out only 2.4 millimeters, making them much less obtrusive compared to other flagships like the iPhone. This is a reduction of almost half the lens bump, giving the phone a sleeker profile. As for the camera sensors, Samsung will stick with the 200 MP main camera from the S24 Ultra, which is already a stand-up feature. However, there's a significant upgrade to the ultra-wide camera, which will go from 12 MP to 50 MP. This jump means we can expect much sharper and more detailed wide-angle shots. But that's not all. There's talk about the zoom capabilities getting a boost as well. While we don't have full details yet, rumors suggest the S25 Ultra will feature variable zoom lenses, which means smoother transitions when zooming in and out. This will likely improve the overall video quality and help with telephoto shots in particular. Leaks and performance now. Let's talk about performance. The S25 Ultra will come equipped with the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 processor in all regions, which is a big deal. Typically, Samsung uses its Exynos chipsets in some markets, but this year, it looks like everyone will get the Snapdragon version. Early benchmark tests show some impressive results. On Geekbench, the S25 Ultra scored 3,011 in single-core performance and 9,706 in multi-core performance. To put that in perspective, it's a solid improvement over last year's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Plus, these numbers are likely to improve even more as we get closer to the official launch with software optimizations and final tweaks. This new Snapdragon chip isn't just about raw power. It's also expected to bring in big gains in AI capabilities and machine learning. This means features like camera AI for better photo processing, enhanced voice assistance, and even smarter battery management. Design. Next, let's move on to the design. According to some detailed renders and leaks from OwnLeaks, the Galaxy S25 Ultra will have a significantly updated design compared to the S24 Ultra. The device will feature curved corners and flat edges which is a departure from the rounded design we've seen in recent years. The flat edge design is similar to what we see in the smaller Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus models. Not only does this give the phone a more modern look, but it's also expected to improve the grip and handling. Additionally, the S25 Ultra will be lighter than the S24 Ultra, weighing around 232 grams, which should make it more comfortable to use over long periods. The display will feature Gorilla Glass Armor 2 for even better durability, especially in terms of drop protection. Speaking of the display, the S25 Ultra will have a flat 6.9-inch dynamic AML LED screen. This display will feature 120Hz refresh rate, ATR 10+, and an even brighter, more vibrant panel than before, making it ideal for gaming, streaming, and everyday use. Though we don't have official color options yet, we can safely assume Samsung will launch the usual black variant with more colors to be revealed closer to launch.